Congratulations! You've done your research and you've decided that the best way to build your DIY battery off-grid solar system is to use centralized bus bars. Awesome! I'm in agreement with you. But man, when you search on Amazon or all these other websites on the internet, you'll find a slew of different selections of bus bars. How do you know which ones to get? Well, I'm going to compare two in this video, a medium priced one and a really cheap one. Now, I purchased two bus bars. These are from Pike Industries. I bought them from Amazon. Uh, this is not sponsored. Now they came in a box with uh, <laughs> we have these little plastic uh, wing nuts uh, that hold the cover on. And then we take the cover off and we're left with four studs. And I bought the one that has the zinc plated uh, bolts and nuts because it's just a little bit cheaper. But if you're in a wet environment, go ahead and get the one with stainless steel. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now in the description, these were rated for 400 amps and I think they're actually being conservative for that. Now, I'd like to compare this just for a moment with uh, a different bus bar on the market. Oftentimes I see uh, some DIY projects done with these uh, cheap bus bars and you can buy these black and red ones as a kit and they also have wing nuts and a cover and inside you also have four studs and these are a lot less expensive. You can buy this uh, kit of both the uh, red and black one <laughs> for only $40. Now this is perfectly fine for light applications, low amp applications, uh, but I certainly wouldn't use this for over 100 amps, even though the rating says 250 amps. I think that's uh, totally bogus <laughs> uh, because these get really hot uh, when you're running them. Uh, so light, low amp applications, fine. But in this case, remember, I have a stack of Jack and Purr batteries. Those batteries can discharge 100 amps each. So the stack of four of them can discharge 400 amps. So there's no way I'm going to try to use one of these cheap little thin bus bars. Instead, I'm going to use this nice big thick one, uh, which is rated for 400 amps, which I think is actually conservative and we uh, won't have any risk of overheating this and melting it and causing a problem in our stack. I'm going to bring the camera in closer so that we can take a closer look at the two bus bars. So I'm comparing these two bus bars. Now this has the thin little brass bus bar and this has a big beefy copper bus bar. I took apart the positive side so that we can really get a close look at this thing. So if we take a measurement here, we've got 19.1 millimeters. And the thickness is 2.4 millimeters. Now this is the brass bus bar. It's listed on Amazon as being brass. And I will try to focus here. You can see that kind of yellowy color to it. So that's brass. Now, if this bus bar was made out of copper, it'd be rated for more like 150 or 160 amps. In brass, it's more like 45 or 50 amps. Uh, and that's running it safely so it stays cool and doesn't overheat. And then over here, I shaved down this one a little bit. And you can see that more orangey color and that's solid copper. So let's compare these two side by side. You can see one is brass and one is copper. Now that was listed in the listing, but you can also see how much difference the thickness is and width <laughs> and length. So if I stack the cheap one on top, you can really see the difference there. Yeah. As well as the base. Look at how much difference the base is. And so you're getting more distance uh, for your wires to be separated or insulated from your, your base material. Now the Pike Industries has the bolts go through the plastic so that when you bolt down your wire onto the bus bar, it's actually helping to hold the wire 
the bus bar material uh, to this plastic housing. Uh, this cheaper one, it is not bolted down to the uh, plastic housing. It's relying on these two tiny screws. Let me show you. So the cheap one is relying on that little screw. There's two of them that screw through the hole and into the plastic. So it's relying on the plastic holding ability to keep everything together. I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the differences between a cheap bus bar and a medium bus bar. I'm saying medium because you can actually go a lot more expensive than these ones. Uh, but I think this will work really well in my application. I hope you enjoyed the comparison as much as I did. And I hope you all stay safe as you build out your DIY solar systems uh, because we don't want anybody overheating a current carrying conductor. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and please check out the links in the description below. Uh, those really do help out the channel if you use them. Thank you.